In this short video, I want to take a look at using a hard surface script in Maya. This essentially allows you to automatically find all of the hard edges on your object, particularly obviously if this is a hard surface object, that you can then increase or bevel or really do whatever you want with. For something that's so simple, this actually saves me a ton of time, particularly when working on hard surface objects that are made up of multiple pieces. So in this video, I'll talk about where to download the script, how to use it, and then we'll take a deeper look at how it works for those who are interested. So in this example, I'm using this low poly axe. You can see it doesn't have much detail. Well, let's just assume I'm done with the low poly version and now I want to make a high poly version. Now for this, what I do is go into each object and create the high version using either the multi-cut tool to chop in some holding edges or maybe even selecting those edges and using the bevel tool. But clearly that's going to add up in terms of time across multiple pieces. So that's where the script comes in. So I'm just going to select an object, and it doesn't matter if it's in face mode, vertex mode, edge mode, or even object mode. I can just click the script, it will transfer you into edge mode, and it will automatically select all edges of a certain angle, as you can see here. So that just happened in one click, rather than me manually selecting all these edges, and now I can just do something like bevel it, or whatever I want to do here. So now, within a few clicks, I've immediately got a high-res version there. So let's take a look at how to install that script. Firstly, visit the link below this video. It'll go to the website. And what you can do is just copy the text here. Once you've got that text, you can jump back into Maya and you can open up the script editor with this little button in the bottom right. With the script editor open, you want to make sure you've got a Mel tab, such as the one here, or you can just click the plus symbol to create a new one. And I want to paste that text in here. Now I should at this point point out that this isn't the official way to bring scripts into Maya, but I think it works just fine, particularly if you only need to have a few scripts in Maya as you work. Now that that text is in here, I want to save it to a shelf as a button, as I've got here. So for this you can choose which shelf to save it to, so for example the custom shelf, like this. Then you need to select all of the text that we've just pasted in here, go up to File, Save Script to Shelf, and then just give it a name. It doesn't really matter what it is, so something like H underscore edge, and click OK. You can see it's added it as a button here, and now I can just close the script editor. I don't need it anymore. Now if I select an object, like this, and click it, it'll find all the hard edges. Another quick side note is, as you can see from my shelf here, I've got the button right next to the bevel button. What I can do is go to the little cog symbol, Firstly, say save all shelves, that will mean that button will appear here every time you load Maya. But then if you want to reorder those buttons, you can go shelf editor. You can find whichever button you've made here. So in this case, it's going to be H edge. And you can use the up and down button. And you can see just up here, it's just reordering those tools. Okay, once you've got that tool installed, now we can use it. So with this little object here, as you just saw, what I can do is click the button. It's found all the right edges in this case. It's always worth double checking that that's the case. And then you can just use something like the bevel tool or use it for whatever you need. That's really all I need to use on that object there to create that high res version. Now with some objects like this more complex one here, again, this tool is going to be really helpful but it often only gets you 95% of the way there. So if I click the hard edge script now, it's going to find a lot of good edges, but you can see some of them it had trouble picking up. So if I look at this kind of angle here, it's actually very, very flat. So it's not going to automatically pick up this edge here that I might actually want to bevel. So in this case, I also need to shift double click that full edge loop. I need to, in this case as well, shift double click this whole front edge loop. And then that adds edges, but there's also cases where I might want to remove some edges. So I can see here, for whatever reason, it's selected that edge, maybe because it was on kind of a sharp angle. So I can just control click that one, control click one in here, and there's another one under here that I can control click. So it's always worth double checking that it's selecting the right edges. That script will get you 95% of the way there, but you do need to sort of just double check that it's got everything you need. Finally, I can just add a little bevel in here add some segments, change the fraction if I want, and then you can see it's made a nice high-res version of that for me. So that's pretty much it in terms of using the tool. Hopefully that made sense, and hopefully you can see the value in using that in your workflow. If you're interested in learning 3D, feel free to keep in touch with the website. We've got a range of courses and even some free tools occasionally for you guys to view.
So the remainder of this video is just me essentially going through what's happening behind the scenes of this tool. If you're interested in just using it for your own work, you can jump off now obviously, but if you want to have a closer look at how it works, then stick around. So what's actually happening with this script is it's using something called selection constraints. So I'm going to demonstrate on this cylinder here. So it's a pretty straightforward kind of cylindrical shape. And ordinarily what I could do is click on my script and it will go through and select these edges here. But to take a look at what's happening under the hood, we can go up to select and down to use constraints. Now this will open up this window here and by default what you should see is really nothing in that window. Only options appear once we actually go into a component mode. So if I come in here and start selecting these edges, then you'll see a few more components or sorry, options appear. Now nothing will really happen until we actually turn this on. So by default it's set to nothing. I want to actually click current and next. And what this essentially means is these constraint settings that we apply will apply to our current setting, uh, current selection and any future selection. So if I select all these edges now, what I can do is turn on one of these constraints. And the most obvious one here is random. If I tick on activate, what you'll see is it deselects those edges. But if I drag this up to let's say about 50%, and now drag over these edges, you can see that every time I drag over that selection, it's making a random selection of edges about 50%, so a 50% ratio. So this is handy for getting obviously a random selection of vertexes or faces or anything like that. The one I'm actually using in this script is found under the geometry dropdown. So if I open the geometry dropdown and go down to angle, what actually happens behind the scenes with this script is it ticks on activate for this and it gives it a value of between 30 degrees and 150 degrees. So this is just a random number I've picked but it seems to do the job. So it's this kind of magical range of values that essentially means it will select all edges between 30 degrees and 150 degrees. And if I drag over my edges now, you can see it selects only the hard edges. Now the only problem with, with this is if I bevel and close this window, I still will have those constraints applied. So you've got to make sure once you make that selection that you tick nothing, you can tick off any constraints you have or you can just click close and reset. That will keep your selection but it will now mean it won't lose my ability to select other edges. So now I can just select those edges and bevel them. Now obviously all of that is just automated by using the script and in fact even when I use the script what happens is it prints the value, so 30 degrees and 150 degrees, of what we've actually constrained there. Cool guys, so that's essentially it. Hopefully that gives you an idea of what's happening under the hood. Hopefully you enjoy using the script as well, and feel free to check out our website for any courses that might interest you, and I'll see you guys in another video.